Hello, and thanks for joining us on our second open process. Hello again, I'm Anna. Welcome back to Open Process. We're talking about metalsmith Stephen Yusko's piece, Go Box Number no. 2. It's uh, deceptively heavy. It's very small, but it's made out of several layers of um, steel square pipe. The, the top is made of flattened bolts. The visual appeal is that the finishes have a sort of sentimental quality to them, and the sense of it is that its weight is protecting something valuable. Rick Hines is a potter from Wisconsin. He works in stoneware. Often his pieces are very large, but in this case the piece is small. It's a container jar with very quiet colors, a small lid. It's a good example of the nature of his work. As well as these stoneware, small stoneware pieces, he produces very large coiled pots. This earthy squat stable piece was made in 2001. Just plain earthenware with a few stripes of glaze on it. The smooth sort of almost waxy texture that creates really attracts the eye. I imagine wanting to pick it up, use it to hold salt to season a meal or warm a sauce. Long time summer visitor Mary Arrow's work is detailed and deep. The oil shown here is titled Blue Hill Sedgwick Transfer Station, The Burn. Her earlier large-scale still life in landscape watercolors separated the wild world from the human world. But here, in this oil painting, we see the two worlds merged in the flames in a physical collection of objects that gives our eyes space to move around and linger. Peter Kemble, who was a summer visitor to Deer Isle, lived for many years in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where he started and worked in his own graphic design business. When he retired from that business, he began making prints. Peter passed away in 2019, expecting to have another show here with us and with a great deal of work that had been prepared for that show. His work is inspired by his early Bauhaus training. You can see the structure very clearly in his piece here. I think it's more, more than being an intellectual idea. It's really a piece about how colors come and go, move towards and away from each other. The title of this one is Shrank of Many Colors 2015. When we select objects, there is always trial and error. We considered two Mary Arrow pieces for the discussion. The one we selected seems to have an impact that was in line with the other pieces. Peaches is also a lovely piece. However, it has a much lighter and airier feeling despite containing similar colors as the fire piece. In this case, the softer atmosphere of peaches feel out of place in the group of the other three. Perhaps we'll come back to that one later when we focus on Arrow's current work. Thanks for joining us this week. Look for us again soon.